My company has been using this expense report form for years. Someone originally created it in Microsoft Office Word. But Word isn't really meant for creating or filling out forms. For example, people often forget to enter their employee ID number, or they type the wrong number. Now, here's the same form in Microsoft Office InfoPath, which is specifically intended for designing and filling out forms. The InfoPath form uses data validation and other features to help ensure that users enter accurate information. It was really fast and easy to convert the Word form into this InfoPath form. Here's how I did it. First, I need to make sure that the document I want to convert is closed in Word. In InfoPath, I open the File menu and click Import Form. When the Import Wizard opens, I click InfoPath Importer for Word Documents and then click Next. On the next screen, I click Browse to find the Word document that I want to convert. In the Import Form dialog box, I find the Word document in the Forms folder and then open it. The Word document that I selected now appears in the Select the File to Import box in the Import Wizard. Before I convert the Word document into an InfoPath form, I want to double check the default conversion settings for my form, so I click Options. In the Import Options dialog box, I can see exactly what will happen when my form is converted. For instance, if InfoPath finds empty, underlined areas in my Word form, it will convert those areas into text boxes. It looks like InfoPath also converts the space after colons into text boxes. The design of my form is such that I don't want this to happen, so I'll disable this setting by selecting Layout and Form Fields Custom Conversion, and then clearing the Empty Space After Colons checkbox. Everything else seems fine, so I click OK. If I need to change something later, I can always import the file again and use different settings. Since I'm ready to start the conversion, I click Finish. The wizard tells me that while my form was imported successfully, there are issues with the conversion. To review the results of the conversion and resolve these issues, I click OK. The converted form looks just like my Word form. InfoPath kept my original layout, including the table cells I used to organize the form fields. It also converted Word text boxes and list boxes to their InfoPath counterparts. In the Design Checker task pane, I can find out more about those problems that InfoPath told me occurred as a result of the conversion process. For example, I see that InfoPath doesn't support some Word features, such as bookmarks, so those features weren't converted. That's okay. I didn't need them anyway, so I can ignore this message and close the task pane. Now that my Word document has been converted, I want to preview my form template so that I can see how it looks and acts when someone fills it out. In the preview window, I can see some differences between the InfoPath and Word forms. Take the Additional Information section in the InfoPath form, for example. If I now switch back to Word, I see the series of blank underlines that were used to show users where to enter notes. Switching back to InfoPath, I see that those underlines were replaced with something called a rich text box control. It's a lot like a regular text box, but it lets users apply formatting to their text or insert tables and pictures inside the box. The conversion process changed this itemized expenses table too. Switching back to Word, I see that it was just a regular table with a fixed number of rows. But when I preview the InfoPath form, I see that the table was converted to a repeating table that lets users add or remove extra rows depending on their needs. In addition to the table, InfoPath also imported the expense categories from my Word form. Now that I've seen how easy it was to convert my Word expense report form to an InfoPath form, I'm ready to convert all of the other Word forms that we currently use. I'll be working exclusively in InfoPath in no time.